hey everyone creative winners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn how to design this beautiful presentation animation and i hope you will like it it's really minimalistic fluid and neat and clean also we have launched a new app called awesome gradients and you can find the link in the video description it's available on android and i have created it myself so please download that as well and now let's start the tutorial so the very first step is to you know create a background and for that we will you know fill a nice background color here and now insert a rectangle add some shadow and you can move these shadow sliders to get the best output increase the blurness adjust the distance increase transparency level and now you can see it it is looking really nice over this gradient background And I have also placed the final output at the left bottom corner so that you can match. Now the next item is to design navigational bars by using rounded rectangle. And, and you have to make it really thin so you can adjust its height and width as you can see on your screen and and now i'm figuring out the color for this bar so i am first trying with gradient colors to see which one looks good or else uh, else we can use solid color as well So you can move these gradient sliders to see if it is looking good and you can adjust the flow of gradient. Now just duplicate it like multiple times. It depends upon the number of slides you want to present. So like if you have 8 slides then you have to keep 8 such navigation indicators make sure these navigation indicators are well aligned now we have to highlight one of the indicator to represent the current slide for that we have again inserted this rounded rectangle Now just select all, group them together so that we can move it. Now just zoom in so that you can view it properly and do some adjustments like alignment and let's try to fill some nice color into it. I think gray will look nice or, or we should only use the outline. Let's go with only the outline here and do not fill any color. And what will happen is when we will, you know, move to the next slide, the next navigational bar will be highlighted with this rounded border shape. So, so this will be really helpful in animation. So now the next step is to insert a rectangle again. So. Our base is ready, background is ready, navigational bars are ready. And the next step is to create this image placeholder. So this slide is more useful for a topic or for a theme where image or a graphic or any stat 
or a chart will take a center stage and there is a less use of text so for for those kind of presentations this template will really fit well so let's add some text here so i have added headline or title and you know how to adjust the text settings you can try some colors character spacings bold unbold font style so all of those things you can try and you should keep on trying so that way you will always learn new things and you will know what will look good here and what's what's more you can do so that's how it will help you now insert this text here so change it to uppercase and let's increase the font size so that it overlaps this blue rectangle and place it here so this is the title of our first slide abstraction oops concept is our main heading abstraction is the slide heading and now we will add some background to it for that you can insert another rectangle and place it behind this text so it's pretty easy so till now i hope you have easily understood everything so please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed now let's paste the description of this presentation so this is a dummy description but it's very long i wouldn't recommend such a long text in the presentation but i see people asking for such inputs or designs where they want to add such text so that's why i have put this placeholder for the text but keep it minimal to like one to two lines that's it and place it on the right side make sure it is well aligned and it looks beautiful just see yourself if everything looks well organized or not after completing the slide so that way you can always judge if you have done a great job or not So I've increased the character spacing on the main heading of this presentation template. So to make the text look more beautiful, you can try such things where you can bold certain parts which are important. So, so this really helps in focusing on important points. So now let's add a call to action. For that we have already copied the outline of the navigational indicator. So one of the most important part of any presentation to the ability to reuse the components so we will use it to add a hyperlink or call to action you can say so you can add a call to action for your website some important link or a chart or any slide within the same presentation so so yeah call to action call to actions are important and you can add depending upon the visual storytelling of your presentation adjust its height and width and write a beautiful call to action like explore discover learn more read more and and the next part is now to add some nice images here and with this latest office 365 subscription now you have the option to add the stock images from within this presentation only you don't have to search online so 
so you just have to right click pictures and then select stock and here you can find lots of stock images that you can add like this on just a click of a button so in this latest presentation of powerpoint this feature is really helpful you can easily add images so i've increased the transparency of this bar behind this text so now it's looking really awesome here and this slide is also looking beautiful minimalistic focuses on the image i know currently the image is stock but when you will add some meaningful image here that represents your heading or the title then it will look more beautiful and meaningful as well so now let's create the second slide and similarly you can create uh, all the other slides as well and make sure with each slide you move this navigational indicator to mark the current slide so what will happen when when the transition will happen between the slides this marker will move with the slides let's paste the description here so make sure the description is small currently it's long because i have to create this placeholder but keep it only up to like one or two lines no one want no one wants to read such long statements or text so similarly you can create as many slides you want and there is no limit but i would suggest like 8 to 10 slides will look good with this template so like i have created these four main slides and i'll add two more slides for opening and closing the intro and the thank you slide but these are the four main slides select all the slides select morph and the default morph animation is now applied on this presentation where it will automatically decide which part it wants to move like this and you can see the navigational indicator is moving with each slide it's so fluidic and beautiful so these are the four slides and and we need opening and closing slide as well for that we will duplicate these slides and add one at the top and one at the bottom now we will just modify the opening and closing slide to add some text and messaging like title or something so so you can write whatever you want you can add some branding I see presentation templates where, where where they put lots of information on the slide like date then they have the that copyright information at the bottom in the footer then email id then website then one big logo as well then some placeholders if you really want to add those extra information you can add on the title or the closing slide but keep the information slides clean just let the user focus on the main information so i have created so the presentation slide design and animation is complete i have applied advanced more animation by customizing it if you want to see how to do advanced morph animation please see our previous video and i haven't covered that in this part so here is the final output and you can see it's it looks really amazing so i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel which is really important please do subscribe if you're watching it and haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button also hit the like button join the membership if you can that 
that that will really support us and share this video and and also do not forget to download this template from the g drive link provided in the video description so we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye peace